Welcome back. Sylvia joins me now in the studio. Sylvia, what's first up? Well, James, a landmark legal case is causing waves here in China. A court in Shanghai has ruled against the police after they were found to have used entrapment to try to snare drivers as illegal taxi operators. Fergus Thompson reports. The sign on the windshield of this car reads, I refuse to give a lift to anyone who needs help. That includes pregnant women about to give birth, car accident victims or people having a stroke, and especially anyone with a stomach ache. Seem a bit harsh? Well, for Shanghai driver Zhang Hui, it's a case of once bitten, twice shy. His problems began when he offered a lift to a pedestrian on the roadside who complained of stomach ache. Zhang agreed, but shortly after he drove off, the stranger leaned over, turned off the engine and took the keys. It turned out he was actually a police plant. Seconds later, Zhang was dragged from his car by traffic police. They accused him of operating an illegal taxi, seized his vehicle and fined Zhang the equivalent of 1,500 US dollars. Zhang paid up to get his car back, but he then filed a lawsuit against the enforcement team demanding his money be returned. The case has become a huge talking point in the Chinese media, as many drivers have complained of being lured into the same trap. The methods used by the traffic police have been criticized by some as dubious, not only from a legal perspective, but also from a moral standpoint. Critics say these underhand tactics undermine people's mutual trust and willingness to help one another. And that sentiment appears to have been shared by the court officials looking at Zhang's case. They ruled in his favor. The police action was declared illegal and the fine Zhang paid will be refunded. Zhang's victory follows the notorious case of 19-year-old Sun Zhongjie, a young driver who just last month was caught in the same trap. Sun only received an apology from the Shanghai Pudong authorities after severing his finger in a desperate attempt to prove his innocence. Some legal experts believe that Zhang's case could set an important precedent and that similar lawsuits might follow. Fergus Thompson, BON.